Welcome back, everyone. Well, we have a whole couch full of visitors to, here today to tell you about a very special thing that you could purchase perhaps for the holiday season coming up. It's part of a fundraiser. Um, these are all students from uh, Northern Penobscot Tech Region 3. Thanks for coming here today, guys. Yeah. We did a, um, a feature on their welding program a couple of weeks ago, but now we're going to be talking about something different. And let's see, I'll say your names real quick. We have Alec Grover down there on the end, Isabel Gherkin, Ethan Troxel. Right. right there, and Robbie Clendenning. Thanks again for all uh, coming here. First of all, tell us about the program that you guys are all in, involved in. Who wants to mention that? Is yes, it, so uh, digital media program is that? Yes, so the the full name is uh, digital communications and graphics design, but nobody uses that name because it's too long. <laughs> uh, but we we are it's a digital media program. It's kind of a general sort of uh, anything with computers, anything with cameras, anything with tech. That's what we do up at up at Regions. So. And this is going to teach you some skills that you could. Um, it's so many different jobs out there today. You Absolutely. can use those skills. But of course, it takes money to run these kind of programs, and you guys have kind of come up with a neat way to raise money. Tell me about that. Well, uh, we we created a board game. We created a board game together, and it's called Mooseopoly. And it's uh, it's sort of a collaborative effort between um, us and the town of the towns of Lincoln, Howland, uh, the five towns around the school district, I believe. And we've got some pictures here of the game itself. Well, actually, you guys sent one ahead of time, but it disappeared. I think somebody from the station is actually playing it now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Mooseopoly, though, so neat. And it's kind of featuring some of the things that people will recognize from around the area. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike Park Place, they've kind of been uh, kind of changed into some local attractions, right? Yeah, sort of. It's, it's yeah, it's sort of inspired from famous, famous games such like that. And we changed it up and did the business names? The different companies from the area could buy spots on the actual board so they could have like a little bit of advertisement and they could be included on something to help fundraise our uh, classroom. So they're supporting the class at the same time. Yeah. Not a bad thing. Tell me about the process here. Um, you came up with this idea. It's kind of a play on Monopoly, um, but it's just a good way to raise money. Who participated? How did it all come, come together? Yeah, so there was a there was a ton of people from the from the class last year that participated. Almost, I think, every single person on both days sort of had a hand in it, uh, and everybody sort of had a different job from designing the board, uh, writing up the cards, to even uh, we had Isabel on the you did the box text, I guess, or that was that was Alice. I, I designed the box, and they did they did the instructions. The instructions, that's what it was. Yeah, they did something like that. Yeah. And how are they selling so far? And where do you get them? Well, they're selling great, and you can get them at the, the Lincoln Walmart, right? No. Nope. <laughs> nope. You can get them at Lenny's. Lenny's, uh, that's you what it is. You can get them at our school. You can contact our school and mm -hmm. uh, buy a board. And we're going to be doing a craft fair this Saturday. You can stop and buy one there, too. Where's the craft fair? Uh, right at Region 3 in Lincoln. Region 3, so that's pretty easy then. Mm -hmm. And all the money will go right back into the classroom. Yes. Yep. All right, what a great way to raise money. Mm -hmm. And that's not the only thing you guys are doing to raise money, either. Um, here we have a special uh, coffee cup right here. I don't know if you can zoom in and get a nice picture of that. Isn't that neat? Boy, who designed that cup? Somebody's a really good artist. Thanks. I, I think it's Isabel sitting over here. She it's did Isabel. it. Uh, tell me about the, the cups. Where, where can people get those if they want them? Uh, at the craft fair, too. At the craft fair as well. Mm -hmm. And what are they selling for? Do you know? It depends on the cup. Yeah. Um, oh, you I have think, different cups. Yeah, okay. we, have, we have 20 ounce tumblers. We have 16 ounce tumblers. We have, um, we have glass tumblers. We have those ones, and we have kids' tumblers as well. Fantastic. So it sounds like if you want to get an early start to your holiday shopping, uh, this coming up craft fair is a, is a good way to do it. You'll be um, buying some really neat gifts for people in your home, but also supporting a wonderful educational program for these guys right here. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it. Not just at the craft fair, though. Look around for the games around town, and you'll yeah. find them. And, and hopefully um, you'll buy lots of those to help them out. Hey, guys, thanks for coming in. I know you guys got to get back to school today, but I appreciate yeah. you coming in early. Absolutely. All right. Um, now we're going to send it over to Devin for another check of the forecast.